hi guys so i have what i hope is an exciting video do you guys know i don't post much anymore but i wanted to record this for prosperity because i have a really exciting delivery i've been waiting um, all day for this to arrive so i actually got up at half seven this morning on a saturday and um it's finally just been delivered now um at like 22 um and i haven't opened it i thought i would do it on video so here we go i'm so excited for this have to be careful not to damage it as i open it okay, let's... this has actually arrived early um i tried to get this when it first came out last year um and it sold out so quickly i was on the website when it came out and i couldn't get it uh, so i joined the wait list which I didn't expect I expected them to kind to come kind of in some sort of overall box which they don't seem to have so look at the colour oh my god they are so beautiful I have no idea what order these are in so the Viscount who loved me of course, the first one I had to be my favourite. This is my favourite Bridgertons. Then we have two Sir Philip with love. Mr. Daisy's very interested in what I am opening here. No, careful. These are very expensive, Daisy. Please don't destroy them. This one is Penelope and Colin's book. Absolutely stunning colour. Oh, next up we have pink. And this is the Duke and I, so book number one. On the way to the wedding this is quite interesting because it's kind of like cream but then the pages are kind of like a mauvey color it's very nice oh, beautiful purple one up next this is a lot of people's favorite book in the series um, i enjoyed it but it's not my favorite my favorite will always be the viscount who loved me um but this one is when he was wicked so this is francesca's book beautiful shade of purple it's beautiful and then the very last one. Another pinky one, but this is like a tailor. Um, and this is It's In His Kiss. This is absolutely stunning. So the books aren't in their correct order, but what I love about them is on the shelf, they the spines um, form the Bridgerton house. Um, so each have the characters in the windows and it's just stunning and I'm a huge fan of Bridgerton series I have been before it was a show um, I read them a long time ago and as you guys know I'm a massive historical romance fan and you just don't get collections like this for old school historical romance it's really nice to see it sort of have a surge in popularity because of Bridgerton and you know it's been my genre of choice for a very long time so to get these additions, oh, it was totally worth it. I justified it because I had a bonus at work and I essentially spent it on um, this Bridgerton collection. I was going to buy them again um, if I could, because obviously when I first tried to get them, they sold out so fast. Um, look how stunning they are. Oh my God. I couldn't love a human baby as much as I love these books. Uh, <laughs> that's a blaze of glory. Um, but yeah. 
uh, I was hoping to manage to get them when the waitlist came around anyway. I think the only difference between this printing and the first printing is that in the previous one, the first book was signed by the author, whereas I don't believe that these ones are. I think that's really the only difference. Um, let me check because I've got these. Oh no, this one is actually signed. I'm so glad I checked. So I'm wondering if this is a leftover from the first printing because uh, Illumicrate did say that um, there could be some cancelled orders and they just needed to check stock. Um, but I do believe that the second printing wasn't supposed to be signed. So maybe I have a leftover book from the first run, but even better that that's, uh, that first book is signed. So I'm obsessed. I'm just, I just now have to find someone on my shelf to display them to their full potential. So um, thank you so much for watching guys and uh, happy reading.